Castleberry on the hugely popular show Glee. She's now making her big screen uh, debut in the comedy New Year's Eve. The film opens everywhere this Friday, and you can also see on the cover this month, Allure, Allure <laughs> magazine. Please welcome Leah Michelle. <laughs> Yes, get closer. I would say that. You that, said I clean up good. Yeah, you clean what up good. What did I look good. like before yeah. then? Yeah, that, was good. <laughs> that is one of the great dresses of all time. Thank you. It's a little short. <laughs> I'm like have to sit like this. Yeah, that's okay. No? <laughs> that, that works. That works. Thanks. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? It's good to finally meet you. I enjoyed you as your work. You well. And I enjoyed you in the movie. Now, thank you. I'm reading your bio yes. and your last name. How do you pronounce Saf Sarfati? Sarfati. Sarfati. That's, that's my a, real last name. Well, that's a very pretty name. I don't use it a lot because I got Leah so fatty, Leah so farty in wow. school. <laughs> so farty. So when yeah, I was little nice. and yeah. I went on my first audition, they were like, and may we have your name? I was like, Leah Michelle. And then I've been Leah Michelle ever since. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. Okay. Now, what, is that Italian, Sephardic? It's Sephardic, which is Spanish Jew. We're from Spain. Oh, okay. Got kicked out. Went there, went there. Okay. Now, why'd you but. get kicked out? Was the skirt too short? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I would have been there, it would have been different, but no. But aren't you part Italian? <laughs> yeah, my mom's Italian. My parents have been together since they're 14 years old. Wow. So okay, that's my father cool. has. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They met on the playground. They met on the playground. They met on the playground. My father had a big afro. And the first thing he went over to my mother on his rollerblades, and he went over and said, smell my fro. And, wow. Uh, <laughs> wow, what a smooth line yeah, that right? is. <laughs> that's the key. I mean, they've been together for forever, so. Wow, well, that's yeah. a great story. I have to okay. say hi to them. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Okay, there you go. <laughs> right. Now, the Italians have some great holidays. See, I, I, I have many Jewish friends, too, but I got to go. Because you're with... half and half, too. Well, I'm half Scotch, half Italian. Okay, so you're half Italian. Half like Scottish. Me. Yeah, and the Italian side. Half Scotch. Half Scottish, yeah. <laughs> I wanna, where's that? But see, I, I love, I love both sides, but the Scottish food, uh, you know, you I get know. A, you get an Italian garlic bread with a lot of I butter, know. or here's a cold scoongy. <laughs> Was it like that? Did it's you? exactly yeah. like that. Every year they're like, where are we gonna go for the holidays? I'm like, we're gonna go to my mom's side, of course, because yeah, yeah, yeah. then I get my big bowls of pasta, and that's exactly what I want. Well, I so. mean, th there are so many holiday traditions, like, uh, the Feast of the Seven Fishes, do yes, you know what that is? that's Christmas Eve okay. in like the Catholic, you know, Italian. Right. We always do only fish on Christmas Eve, okay. which I love my aunt and I love my uncle. You make a great dinner, but I don't really partake in it. Oh, are you a vegan? Is that I'm what? a vegetarian. A vegetarian, okay. Uh, it's not, it's a little smelly, but a little uh, smelly. you know, they can eat it if they want to. <laughs> but right, we were talking like right. Italians, like even on Thanksgiving, Turkey is like a side dish. Right. We just eat pasta. I was 14 before I realized everyone did not too. have lasagna on Thanksgiving. I, me yeah. too. Yeah. It's crazy. It was like lasagna, then ziti, then yeah. oh, here's some <laughs> turkey thing. Oh, yeah. oh fine, fine. Cr yeah. This year on Thanksgiving, it was like our turkey was like on a side dish. Yeah. This yeah. much turkey and then huge bowls of pasta came to the table. Yeah. I'm totally fine with it because I wouldn't eat the turkey anyway. Right. But, you know. We were taught the Indians brought meatballs. That's okay. the way it came <laughs> to share, share with the people. <laughs> now, you have some traditions your family does. What are the three things you do on is I was saying earlier that yeah. New Year's Eve, you know, my mother and I get a little, you know, I'm in New Year's Eve now, and mm -hmm. it, it just happens to be my favorite holiday, truthfully. And uh, my mother and I get a little superstitious. Okay. If you were to run into us on New Year's Eve, you might think we were crazy. We generally have, like, first we do, like, if we want to, whatever sort of we want to evoke for the year, right. we wear that color or we wear like, so if we want to bring in fun for the new year, we'll wear like wigs or feathers or okay. something a little, you all know, right. okay. crazy. Okay. And if we want to bring in love, we'll wear all red. So okay. if you see anybody with feathers and red and wigs, it's probably me and my family. Okay. And what else do we do? We eat 12 grapes. Eat 12 grapes. 12 grapes. Don't ask why. Okay. I don't know why. We generally just pick up what people think are good luck and do it all. Okay. We figure if we just do it all, so you, now something good is going to happen. If you were to eat 11 grapes... <laughs> That's, we're screwed. Well, we're screwed. <laughs> you have to be so careful. Right. And then also the last thing we do, which we used to do, was 
right as the clock is like counting down, it's like mm -hmm. 10, nine, we take a little piece of paper and we write down a wish and we burn it. And right as they say, Happy New Year, we throw it in and we chug it down in our champagne, which we stopped doing because we sort of realized like ashes, digesting paper. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> also, I wished for a sibling every year. I'm still yeah. an only child. Oh, okay. So that one stopped, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> that and was that, a lot. <laughs> that would cancel out the vegetarian swallowing the burnt I, up. You know, yeah, yeah, so that one's over, but we okay. do do a lot of okay. interesting right, things. Good. Now, what is this photo you tweeted? Is this the cast of Glee? What is? <laughs> yes. Okay, is this <laughs> That's after? That's me in the background with my head craned back like that. Now, what, what, had someone poisoned the cast? What happened there? No, nope, that's probably us. It was probably like 3 or 4 a.m. And uh, we're just trying to get in as much uh, rest as we can. And we figured out how to make it as um, comfortable as possible. So the tabloid would say, cast of Glee all sleep together. Um, yeah, they probably yeah, yeah. would. They're very good at twisting yeah, the words yeah, yeah. as but best they isn't can. Isn't it fun how they do that? Aren't you astounded how they I mean, I think that they're all yeah. really good looking, yeah. so yeah. I'd okay. consider myself very lucky right. that if that were the truth. Now, tell me about, tell me about Barbara Streisand. She oh. tweeted you. Tell, what, what's yes. the story on that? Yes. Well, I was watching my favorite show, Hoarders. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Are you on Hoarders? Anybody? <laughs> now, are, are you a hoarder? I am not, but I heard that somebody over here. No, I'm not a hoarder. <laughs> I, I'm not a hoarder. I heard that you have a special collection of denim long sleeve shirts. No, I. Which, by the way, when you did come to visit me in my dressing room earlier, you were wearing. I was wearing one. that. I was so. wearing that. And I do have shirts in my closet from the eighth grade. My wife wonders That's why this. That's crazy. Still there. I'm gonna come yeah. over and help you with that. Well, that was But I was great watching time. Hoarders, yeah. and this man had a, a crazy collection of dolls, and amongst all these dolls, I saw a Barbara Streisand doll. So I tweeted, I was like. I gotta get that doll. I was like, where's this man and how can I get this doll? And she tweeted me back. She said, forget the guy, I'll send you the doll. I died and I, wow, I this, Streisand everything has been a dream ever since. Wow, wow. <laughs> and what, what is that from? Is it from like the 60s, that Barbara Streisand? I don't know, it seems newer. She okay. sent it to me. I have it at home, well, that's it's amazing. Cool. I'm a huge Barbara fan, right. so it meant the world to me. Have you ever met her? I met her once after the Grammys at a parking lot in a parking lot, and uh, when she walked what, was away. Was that a drug deal? What was going yeah. on? <laughs> if it was, then it was the best deal. <laughs> oh, wow. But she, when she walked away, I literally keeled over and yeah. cried and like sat on the floor for like 30 minutes afterwards, like wow. a loser. Okay. But, um, wow, wow. you know. <laughs> now tell, tell us about New Year's Eve. Tell what the film is about. New Year's Eve, it's a bunch of stories of people, uh, you know, on this one particular night, incredible cast. Mm -hmm. I saw the film twice now. It's I really adore it. I can't believe it goes from one scene from Robert De Niro to my face. I, I'm good. I can die now. I'm wow. all right. That's cool. My grandpa's happy. Yeah. My whole family's happy. And uh, I've made them proud. Now, what is this clip we're going to see? What's happening? This is this me one? and um, Ashton Kutcher, who's my co-star in... Uh, an elevator. Oh, you're, tra yes. you're trapped in an elevator. Yeah. There's jam between floors. Yes. Coincidentally, With, on New Year's Eve. You know, I, I, I'd say I think she should have just stayed in the elevator. Let's take a look. You know? <laughs> We're stuck in an elevator together. You really, you, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> the film opens Friday and Glee airs on Tuesdays. Leah, pleasure to meet Thank you. Thank you so much. Be right back with Adam Carolla right after this.